What you doing, James? Just clearing some uh, some land here for a little spot to have an outdoor kitchen. Oh yeah. So you want to tell us what you did? Hey, we just uh, we just hung up a tarp out here in the woods uh, where it's nice and cold or cooler uh, without the sun beating on us out there um, to set up a little relaxing spot, sort of an outdoor kitchen, uh, you know, just to relax out here, get away from the sun a little bit. A thinking spot for the Thoreau. Yeah. Thinking we definitely need some more hammocks out here. <laughs> We can easily extend the uh, the camping area. I mean, back there, back there, there's some good areas. I mean, with all the rocks out there, um, that back there would be a good spot for uh, a fire pit. Yeah. So, I'm already thinking bushcraft everything. <laughs> yeah, you got the beard for it. I do, I do. I was getting my Grizzly Adams on. And the knife. The uh, ever-present Buck Hoodlum knife. <laughs> Reviewed and awesome. You would talk about dual survivor and different folks. Um, here, compare mine to yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, right now I've got one, two, three, four... At least four knives on me. You can never be too prepared, right? That's why I got a pistol. <laughs> um, this is my smaller knife. That's a... Uh, what is that? It's a Pathfinder trade knife. That's what that is. Cool. For more smaller bushcrafting type utilities. Awesome. So, if you're interested in our tarp, what we did, and this really isn't super fancy. Yeah, we're not we're not trying to make anything perfect right now. We're just trying to get a place to get the ice not to melt this quickly, you know, out of the sun. We have a tree here. We have a tree over there, and we just ran a, a center line, laid the tarp over it, and then we tied off the corners keeping it relatively tight and keeping a couple of ends lower so the water will drain off if it rains, right? But uh, really, this is just a place to sort of sit in the evenings. About to get some tractor work done and we're gonna have to camp out here for about a week while the tractor's sitting out here. So this, this really isn't a, a permanent thing, just a, a place to sit and take a break. So stay tuned.